Hello everyone. Thursday noon in Mushav Mon Har Chevron. I want to speak a few words, a few minutes about Shavuot Shviz. The Chag that starts on Motzei Shabbos, the Sea of Pesach. As you all know, between Pesach and Shavuot, we come to the Oimer every day. Adding another day, then weeks to reach the Simchat Matan Toratenu. But Shavuot is a very, very deep holiday, a very deep hike because it's very personal. Because you have to do this Shavuot, you have to do it like every day between Pesach and Shavuot, you, you are. Counting the Oimer, like, like, like you, you, you're looking for so much for for, for Shavuot, like so every day. A lot of children, like they have a calendar or like a table, where they make an X or a V, like to cut down, like to the birthday. The grandparents will come and visit, or something similar. We, I'm Israel, with the opposite. We're counting upwards. We know we have seven weeks to go, and every day we're counting upwards. But also, Shavuot is the Chag of Emuna. Believe in the Torah. How come? Because Shavuot, Shavuot, we don't have any specific halacha connected to Shavuot. Not at all. It's a chag. We can't. Uh, chag, so I mean, we have the 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 general halacha, so what we can do and can't do. But for example, Pesach, 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 Luchamez is a matzah. It's a sukkah. We living in in the in the sukkah with the lulav etrog. Rosh Hashanah is a Tfila, like we have like say the Rosh Hashanah, like it's a with fruit and uh, brachot and simanim and everything. But Shavuot, we have a few minhagim that connected, like and that's generally we we quite machmir makbid to eat milk to eat uh, milky food and not uh, meat. Our men are to eat milk and Erev Chag, they were making a, a milk like a kiddush on, on in the morning and then for Yante Florence we were eating a flesh, we were eating meat. So meaning here we have to have something deeper to connect to the Chag. Nothing holding like the lulav and etrog, not what we're eating like the matzah. Our connection here is the Torah, like this, the receiving of the Torah. And that's why we're every day counting, like now we have done 47 days, and about 48 days, and 49 days, and then we have the Shavuot, Shavuot. There I receive the Torah, together with, with the rest of Am Yisrael. But you can't, let's say, that someone else is counting the Omer for you. Usually the, the Rav is counting... We call Ram, I get loudly, they run say Amen, but you have to count it yourself. And also Shavuot doesn't have a date, like in the Torah, like it doesn't say on what date. We know it's seven weeks after Pesach. We know what date Pesach is, we know that the Sukkot is, we know that the Rosh Hashanah, your Kippur is, or Shavuot, seven weeks after Pesach, in the end of the Sphira. So 
So for us to really enjoy Shavuos, we have to enjoy the Torah. And see that that is our siman for the whole holiday. For the Chai, for the Yontif, is the Torah. Because it's not, as we said before, the Lulav, it's not the Matzah, it's not the Simanim. It's something that we can't grab. It's the Oibish, the Hashem himself and his Torah. So I wish all of us that we will receive the Torah emuna shlema with an open heart and the next few days before she was like to really get into it we're saying that the bracha for the oimer like really understand well in two days time we're standing in the Hachsinai and receiving the Torah Many Jews in doesn't understand this because for them the Torah is nothing. Even many religious Jews, they they think it's prayers. You pray, you are religious, and then they're going to sleep ten o'clock on Shavuot night. Because they pray, they had something to eat, and time to sleep. They don't understand that the Torah is the main dish that deserves everything. Anyway, enjoy the taste, the sweet taste of the Torah. Grab it, grab it, and keep it. That will keep you, you strain to make you strong for the whole year. Have a beautiful day. Batslacha Rabbah.